हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू लेट्स यूट अकाउंटेंसी सो फार वी हैव लर्न ऑल द बेजिक्स ऑफ कंजाइनमेंट इट इज़ वेरी नेसेसरी टू बी थरो विथ इट इफ योर बेजिक्स आर स्ट्रॉन्ग दैन सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स इज नॉट अ डिफिकल्ट टास्क सो गाइज इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द बेजिक अकाउंटिंग ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ कंजाइनमेंट Now these are the common ten steps or ten transactions in the consignment that you will see in almost all the problems. There are some additional transaction also which we will see in the further sessions. Now what is the first step? First step is basically when consignor send goods on the consignment. From there all the transaction begins. So this is the first step when consignor send goods to the consignee. So that is consignor sends goods on consignment. Now for sending those goods. consignor will have to incur some expenses like loading charges freight transportation charges maybe travel insurance or stock insurance so all those expenses which is incurred by consignor will be accounted so that is your step number 2 next the goods are received by the consignee but when consignee receives the goods there would be no entry to be passed in the books of consignee because over here consignor just send physical possession of the goods to the consignee but the ownership still remains with the consignor that we have seen in the previous sessions so in this case when consignee receives the goods consignee might pay some advance to the consignor now in this case all the goods are with the consignee and consignee is going to sell those goods and receive the payment and then the consignee will give the remittance to the consignor but in all this case there is a risk that the goods are with the consignee but consignee has not yet paid so for that purpose consignor might ask some advance from the consignee or it can be possible that consignor draws a bill of exchange on consignee which would be like 30 days bill or 90 days bill as per the agreement between the consignor and consignee so third step is consignee pay advance it can be advance in form of cash or bank or check or it can be in form of bill of exchange next when consignee receives the goods consignee will also incur the expenses for selling those goods so that selling expenses would be there so that expenses of the consignee would be accounted next consignee will sell those goods now all the expenses and sale of goods is all belonging to the consignor's goods so these will be recorded in the books of consignee also and in the books of consignor also because consignor is going to reimburse those expenses spent by consignee sale proceeds is also going to be received by the consignor so next is your sales so after the sales the consignor will have to pay commission to the consignee so next sixth step is your commission due to consignee so after the sales you will pass the entry for the commission now commission can be just ordinary commission or there can be overriding and del credit commission also depends on the question now after the commission is due now i have not written commission paid because it is due and it is settled all together after the commission is due next step is now see consignor's expenses are done goods are received consignee's expenses are done consignee sold the goods commission is also due so at the period end or maybe at the year end there must be or might be there are some stock lying with the consignee so we will have to value the closing stock we are going to see how the closing stock will be valued but uh, next step you have to value the closing stock and you will have to pass the entry for this closing stock lying with the consignee now this stock still belongs to the consignor because the ownership is with the consignor so stock belongs to the consignor but physically it is with the consignee so after the valuation next we will find out profit or loss and consignment so if you see we have passed the entry for goods sent that is as good as purchase for the consignment we have passed entry for expenses we have passed entry for sales commission expenses we have passed entry for closing stock so all the transaction related to consignment are done and then we find out profit or loss on consignment which belongs to consignor after the profit or loss is found we finally settle our balance with the consignee now there are two possibilities one the settlement is done with the consignee in which cash or check is received from the consignee or it may be the bill of exchange is accepted by the consignee or the settlement is not yet made 
So in that case, the consignee's balance would be carry forward because we have an ongoing transaction for cons with consignee. So it might be possible that we are not settling the transaction right now. We might settle in future. So settlement is to be done if only specified in the question. Otherwise, there would be no settlement entry. And finally, you will close all the ledger accounts there in the books of consigner and consignee. We are going to see what are the ledger accounts, uh, how the journal entries are passed. But this is the basic accounting cycle or accounting transaction. So just quickly revising, consigner sends the goods, consigner uh, send, spends expenses, consignee might pay advances. Consignee's expenses, consignee sale the goods, commission is due to consignee. We will do closing stock valuation and pass the entry for same. Then we'll find out profit or loss and consignment for this entire transactions. Then there might be settlement or there is no settlement. In that case, balance would be carried forward. And finally, all the ledger accounts in the books of consignor and consignee, because it is a year end, it will be closed and the balances will be transferred. So people, you are not required to remember this cycle. Uh, this is just for your reference because in almost all the sums this is the sequence of the transaction so I've just prepared for your quick revision or for your quick remembrance that okay I've done this I've done this I've done this sometimes people forget to do the valuation of closing stock so this is just for your quick reference you, are, you need not remember the exact sequence of this cycle and they are not going to ask you this cycle okay so further we'll see the journal entries regarding this accounting transactions so that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this session. In the upcoming session, we will be learning the journal entries on consignment. So stay tuned with us and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you.